With the recent release of my Discord server, I decided to make a custom bot to enhance it. By the way, you should join the server. Link in description. I figured that I would show the bot to everyone once it was finished, to get feedback to improve it. I decided to use Discord GS because I have a lot of experience with it, and there's no f***ing way I'm using Discord Pi. I hadn't used Discord GS for a while, however, and a lot of things had changed, but I decided to be brave and use the latest version. I set up the bot in the developer portal and got it online. This is different with what I remember it to be. Bot, add bot, yes do it. And then we want to like set the icon. Oh, it's like weird. I, I forgot how bots work to be honest. And then we have a look. Our bot is online, cool. I first came across these things called interactions, but I think I got sidetracked and started playing with threads. They were foreign to me. I probably should have read the documentation thoroughly before copying code into my project to handle commands and events. After all my hard work, I got the ping command working. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy I next wanted to create a suggestions command. This one took me a while as I was still getting used to all of Discord's new features. Suggest. So yes, type script. I've forgotten how this works because I haven't done this for weeks. I don't really know what I'm doing here, man. Suggestions channel to send and then we can maybe pass in an embed. I like it. Oh, okay, what we're going for. I'm thinking an orange to match Kinaticus. This is a spicy colour. Why do you not like that? Colour resolvable, what? I'm just following the docs, I think. Suggestion. Okay, there we go. That works. I really dislike some of the things about interactions, like replies being forced and only one reply being allowed. I did, however, really like the option system, making it very easy to add arguments to the command. I also added an announce command to realise it was useless because you couldn't use multiple lines. I wanted to change this by waiting for a message after doing the command. I couldn't get an event to fire for some reason, so I left it for the time being. I added some basic functionality like message moderation, welcome messages, and a command to clear messages. Oh, and I later discovered that my problem with collecting messages was because I didn't enable the correct intents. Okay. I don't know what it, I just did, but it worked. Yeah, I literally hate them. There isn't enough in the docs for them, and they're completely unnecessary. On the brighter side though, the announcement command was now working. Next on the to-do list was reaction roles. Here I began to realise the problems with opening the server before finishing the bot. Switch. Emoji.net. See, why is that an underscore? Right, let's try that. Okay, and then we unreact. Boom! We got a thing working. That's crazy. Okay, now we need the bot to like quickly just react to all of these. So, why is it giving me like everything though? Hang on, that's, that's not right. Oh, it's <laughs> the bot's giving itself the role. <laughs> that's fine, we can just remove them. I essentially hard coded a bunch of emojis tied to a role. Not the best approach. I did later change my mind, loading messages based on a wacky configuration. The code for this was very clean. It was now time for the big feature, quizzes. For some reason I decided to give myself the evening to completely finish this before I showcased the bot to everyone, so I was kind of panicking here. I thought it was a good idea to plan the bot here. Uh, yeah. The plan was to have a dialogue between the bot and quiz creator, and the user's DMs. I spent way too long trying to collect messages in the user's DMs, so I decided to do it in the channel the quiz was initiated. This came to haunt me later. I tried to make the code as dry as possible, however there was still a lot of repeating myself. I just realised how weird that sounds to anyone unfamiliar with the term. I promise you I tried very hard to add a join button for quizzes, but this naturally did not go my way, so I just made the bot collect users who react to the questions and calculate the winner based on that. I finished the code for the quiz feature pretty quickly. I just had to do some fancy recursion, glad I did all that language design now. I just spent a considerable amount of time fixing bug after bug until it seemed to be working. It was finally time to showcase the bot to everyone. I went through all of the commands, including the quiz feature. So, there are a few commands that I've created. So I've got like an announce command, right? We've got a clear command. Also, we can make it repeat something. Yeah, I have a question here. So like, can it repeat a message when you provide like a message link? I doubt it. Okay, we'll just send the link. Okay, okay. And then this is the fun one. This is the fun part. So there are quizzes. Now, I'm gonna make a quiz for you guys. Okay, are you ready guys? Hell yeah. Okay, you have 10 seconds per question to answer. Okay. Wait, I what, think I've what? done it. What? Oh no. Why is it doing it in this channel? Oh, it's because I- You know what I've done? I've- <laughs> I've set the quiz for the wrong channel. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, I'm gonna have to restart that. Sorry about this. <laughs> no problem. Uh, what? Why is it doing it in this channel? What? No! <laughs> Man! At least the coat looks clean. Is that a joke? <laughs> I just meant like how it looks. Like just like really how it looks. Like the optics. I appreciate that. Looks <laughs> nice. The quiz feature seemed to be working great, and everyone loved the bot. So what do you guys think of the bot? 
Uh. Finally, it was time to set up the hosting. There were many options for this. I could have even used my server, but I'm saving that for my pirated vid- Uh, I mean new website. Instead, I decided to go with my Raspberry Pi. In hindsight, a terrible choice. I installed Node using this weird MVM thing, and then played around with the code to get the files working properly. Finally, I managed to get the bot up and running with PM2 for Node, so the bot is up until the next power cut. The source code for the bot will be linked in the description. Please also feel free to join the server, you may even be in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe.